Hey everybody, in this video I'll be interviewing Isaiah. He's a relatively new high school graduate who went through the Course Careers IT course and in less than eight weeks he ended up getting a job offer. He actually got two job offers on the same day, which is really crazy. During our interview, he's gonna talk about the most useful parts of the course as well as the application and interviewing process as well as the day-to-day -day of his new job. Like that, so I showed him, you know, but you gotta sell yourself. You gotta sell yourself to get in. You can't just mess up, so I did my best. And it wasn't hard, I won't lie, it wasn't hard, but I still praise sometimes, so God just got me in. He did a really great job and I'm really proud of his execution. So if you're interested in getting into IT, definitely watch this. I think it's going to help you out a lot. I'll put a link in the description to the free intro to IT course, but yeah, enjoy the interview. Like in the process of trying to apply and things, cause I didn't finish, I haven't taken the exam yet. Okay, but you got a job already. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you, you understand. So I was, when I was like getting to the ending, when I was getting to the ending of it, I already started applying for jobs, you know? So when I started applying, I applied for like hundreds, hundreds, and I would get the same result every time. They'll say, oh, unfortunately, we can't reach out. So unfortunately, this, you aren't chosen for this or that. So after like two months or a half, I got in. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's, that's impressive. And that time frame, it, it sure, I mean, there's some benefit to college, but the time frame sure beats like spending like a few years. Yeah, the time frame was just early bucks, early dose. But then at the same time with the benefits of college, you know, when you compare them, you see that college, you spend a whole tons of thousands on that. Yeah. Right. And then some people still come out and still don't use that paper to get the job they're supposed to get, they might get something near or, you know, not be where somebody else is at. So, I mean, a lot of people go, like some people I work with, they have bachelor's degrees, certificates and everything, but mm -hmm. I still got in the same way they got in and I didn't go to their way. So it's actually sure. a good opportunity for people maybe that are not really so interested in university or they, they can't do that at the moment, you know, it'll be a, a good on way to go. Yeah, for sure. And then how long did it take you about to go through like the whole course and until you actually landed your IT job? Was it? That was when I got in touch with Chris, Mr. Dunwoody. Mm. So I, I that, you know, I heard that he finished his in like, in like a month or yeah, in a month or so. So I was like, all right, let me see what I could do. But after I reached out to him, that was already like three weeks after I gone. So he, I told him, how did you finish it so fast? He was like, Whatever you put your mind to, you're gonna do it. So, yeah, he was like, I could do it if I want. I was like, oh yeah. So that week, I was like, um, there was a part in the course I got stuck on. I'm not even gonna lie. There was a part when it got to um, there's a part that you have to set up the whole the whole OS ticket. Oh yeah. You know you got to put the files and everything. Yeah. So that part got a little confusing. So I had to set back and focus on that part before I finished. And I took the exam, so it took about it took about a month and a half. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, it's pretty quick actually. Yeah, it took about a month and a half. Maybe. But I was determined that I really needed it. You know, mm. I didn't have, a, I didn't have an option. Damn. So, um, can you talk about your your job a little bit? Like, um, what is your title and okay. like what do you do so, day to day and stuff? Um, right now I'm on a contract. I mean, I'm under Pomeroy Technology. That's my agency. And they're under HCL Technologies. Okay. So I work for Pomeroy, but I still work for HCL Technologies at the same time. Gotcha. So I work in employed as an IT technician. Yeah. So what we do all day, <laughs> exactly back to what you were saying. You know, you were saying sometimes you can spend the whole day on, you know, just changing passwords or not even doing anything. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm serious. <laughs> For real. To spend the whole day some some people might not even come you know really so it's a it's at boston around seaport massachusetts mm -hmm. seaport yeah so we're a five we stay at the it kiosk it's a kiosk for the whole building mm -hmm. the building is gillette you know gillette yeah like the razor yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the head because that's where i that's where i stay that's funny so <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's where i stay so we're in that building and they have an IT kiosk for people that come to check in their laptops, tickets, I handle tickets, I change passwords, I open the PC like I do hardware. Mm. 
hardware, um, you know, experiments and things like that. Um, change batteries, replace the screen, uh, keep track of the devices, serial number, wow. all of that. Use different applications. Mm. And we still update the windows on, you know, there's a lot of updates you have to do, install a lot of programs, mm. uh, make sure they're linked to the domain server, back to, you know, the whole building server. You know, they have their own domain where all the laptops have to be configured to to use the network and everything. Yeah. Now we have up yeah. quickly and choose them the um Ethernet tables and all those things. So people usually come and say, Hey, I have a new hire, I need you to set up this person's account and all that. We help them do that. You know, it comes with all the different different well, we handle that. It sounds like um you deal with Active Directory uh, a bit, like joining them to the Yeah, active, you know, you know the funny thing is that they don't actually use Active Directory. Oh really? They have their own yeah, they have they customize their own software <laughs> for that. Okay. So they call it they call it um my task. Okay. Yeah. We have all the bookmarks at the top of your current browser because when I came as a new hire, they just created my account, then gave me some permissions, then installed all the bookmarks that they have. So I got used to that in, in about a week, you know? Okay. So I could confidently sit there and talk to new customers. Like I've been there for a while. Nice. You know, I, yeah. Did they give you any kind of training or just kind of like on the job type? Training, training it, it's directly on the job, but because like I have a nice humility with people, I actually, um, people actually like kind to me. So my coworkers, they actually, you know, out of their own generosity, help me and teach, teach me, you know, mm. what I didn't know before. That's so, nice. Everything's burning process, yeah. But I, I got the angle of a lot of things like doing now. So. So nice. Um, can, yeah. can you talk about, you don't have to like give exact number or anything, but was there like a, a salary range on the job description oh, yeah. or anything like that? For now, I'm, for now, I'm comfortably sharing that. It's not, you know, too much, but, um, you know, I told you I'm under Palmer. So Palmer is my agency, man. Each year. So once my contract with Palmer is over, which is about eight months, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, it should end in February. Um, right now Palmer is because it's a contract, Palmer takes their own amount from the normal salary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, if it's like so right now I'm getting paid like twenty one. Oh. Twenty one per hour. Oh. Yeah. So they might be taking anything from one to ten dollars. So after I'm done with them, I would get the regular pay. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah. That's pretty good for taking uh, only, you know, two months and a bunch of hard work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not... <laughs> I know. Yeah, I still have time. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm 20 right now, so. Okay. So, okay. so I, young. Yeah. I still have time. That's cool. Um, do you remember the interview process? Was it like pretty hard or was it like mostly behavioral questions or how was that? Um, the interview process was like, so the interview process was, First of all, through the, you know, teams, first of all, through teams, we had our video conference. Mm -hmm. He asked a couple of questions, but mainly he was focusing on your customer skills because we sit directly at front, in front of the desk. So when people come there, you have to show them and be sympathetic and be hospital, mm -hmm. you know, like that. So I showed him, you know, but you got to sell yourself. You got to sell yourself to get in. You know, you can't, yeah. you know, we can't just mess up. So I did my best. And it wasn't hard. I won't lie. It wasn't hard, but you know, I still praise sometimes. So that, that just got me in. That's good. Yeah. There's a, a lot of soft skills in, in help desk. People like really underestimate how important that is. Yeah. And they, they don't know that. They don't know that. That's cool. But, yeah. So was there, was there any part of the course that you think like helped you the most, like the, the job hunt process or like another part yeah, that uh, out for you? It was the ending. It was the ending. It was the, the um interview, the interview section. Okay. Whereby, yeah, because, because, you know, some people don't know how to talk to people when they give you, um, when they ask you a question, when they say, oh, tell me about yourself. Then you'd be like, uh, you start saying things that are irrelevant. That <laughs> they don't really care about, you know, <laughs> you start saying things that are irrelevant, that they don't, they don't really, they're not bothered about that. You might tell them that, you know, I was at the store yesterday. And they're like, okay, then what happened after that? You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but you gotta, you taught me with the videos that you dropped that you gotta let them know what you're there for. That 
yes, certain things that are related to IT. I'm highly enthusiastic about IT. I love helping my customers. I'm very hardworking. There's some bad things that would make them, you know, catch their attention. So that's what I learned. So that was the best thing. Because without that, I wouldn't know how to talk to them, to be honest. I wouldn't know. Yeah, it's yeah. very general. Um, and as long as you say something that's maybe like relevant to what they want to know and articulate well, I think it will turn out okay. It's easy to ramble. Yeah. <laughs> true. Like, very true. Yeah. yeah. Although there, there, from, there are some interviews that I messed up. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. There was, some of them are mean. You know, especially some of them. There was a like, mean lady. She's like, she was, she was mean. She was, she wasn't playing with me. She was serious. So, she told me to explain something and I didn't really know it, but I was trying my best to manipulate it oh. as she was looking at me dead straight. And I was like, I was feeling pretty stupid because I'm like, I don't know what I'm saying or correcting or not. Like, yeah, all right. Oh, really? I'll call you. Yeah, Damn. I'll call you back. When they say they call you back, it's over. You know, you know I'll call you back. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> that sucks. But, it's yeah. an experience, I guess. Yeah. But it only takes one. Oh, I'll just say, it only takes one, like you said, and like um, Chris said, you could apply for 200, 500, but it just takes one. So, yeah, and yeah. if you try, especially you're going to get better and better and better interviewing, and it's you cannot not get a job. You're going to get you're going to get one eventually if you like keep going and keep practicing, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, and yeah, you, yours is pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't I didn't really need time because I needed that. I'm not gonna lie, I did need that for the moment. Yeah. Yeah. I asked you like so many questions. Did you, did you have any like thoughts that you want to like, um, tell the users or any kind of like, um, or viewers, sorry, or any kind of story or advice or anything like this? Uh, I'll just tell them that, uh, you know, you don't need to like give up, although it's not easy, but the course is it's actually worth it. The course is actually worth it, to be honest. Thank you. Part of the it's, it's very worth it. And Josh did a good job. I don't know how I sat down one day. I was like, how did Josh make all these videos? Like, and like, you know, you record it, you know, you got to edit. Like, it's, it's a lot. So, yeah. I would advise you, to, you know, you guys or anyone that's watching, you should take the course. Or if it's worth it, and just focus on it. You could, you know, get it out and done within like three weeks or one month, mm. depending on your schedule, you know. But, um, yeah, you could do that. It's not hard. You know, the only thing about when you're learning new things is that if you have interest and desire, if you don't have interest in something and you're forcing yourself, you're not really going to like it and you're not going to laugh too long. Mm. Those pick what you have to acquire, you know, go towards that. So, of course, it's nice and important. Yeah, that's an important point. Even if you like not that interested in something, if you can kind of develop at least a little bit of interest, I think it will help um, help you a lot. Yeah, I mean, I have some of my friends that I told them, I'll be like, "Hey, yo, check this out. Do something better. You know, try to get your life going or something." And like, all right, but they don't get back to me. You know, they don't get back to me. Not everyone wants the same type of you know, success. Yeah, but congrats on your your execution. Um, I think it's really good. I mean, it beats going to school for four years and then making the same amount of money afterwards. And making the same amount of money that somebody's sitting with. Like, I'm the youngest there. Like, I'm the the second person that's the second person that's I'm older to me. There is like seven years gap, eight years gap. Damn. Yeah, and then the oldest person there is like forty something. Yeah. So, so, yeah, anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, you you ahead a lot by time and money. All you got to do is like you know, sp spend like you know if you want to like keep getting maybe another certification or so and keep learning and then yeah, no, for sure. I wanted, I wanted to actually um get into Oracle database, oh. MySQL. Oh. Yeah, but I don't know how to go about that. I wanna I wanna learn MySQL. Gotcha. Do you guys yeah, do you guys use that at work, or is it just like a interesting thing that you want to check out? What you mean? You don't know about my sequel? Um. Yeah, I know. But do you guys? Uh, yeah. Do you use it at work at all? No, I don't. I don't. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I just want to go into it. You know, I'm not going to stop here at um at IT technician. I'm not going to stop. Yeah. I just want to get in. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. So, 
I would check around and see where I could learn, you know. I wish, of course, Paris was teaching that because, you know, <laughs> I wish they were teaching that because a lot of people really don't know how to teach something to your understanding. They might teach it and think that you, you're going to get it straight off the back, you know, unlike other people that, you know, might need repetitive things settle all over again, you know. Yeah, I, I do teach a cybersecurity course and there is like um, some database in there a bit and I'm about to redo the whole course actually. There's 900 students in there right now, but I need to like uh, improve it. So I'm going to like re-record it. But that one, you don't have to you know buy it, of course, but you can check it out. It might be kind of interesting um, anyways. Yeah. All right. I'll check that out. Yeah. What what program, what, what languages are there though, cybersecurity? Because I know it's, uh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty bulky. Yeah. So in, in my, co okay, <laughs> this will require like a lot of like talking, but in, in my course, there's like yep. a, a little bit of PowerShell and then there's like a, a decent amount of KQL, which is, is similar to SQL, like SQL, but it's like Microsoft version of it. Yeah. Um, so just like a lot of security concepts and then some KQL, uh, but yeah. I did that. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Congrats again. Um, I think this is going to help a lot of people. Uh, oh, I wanted to ask you, um, do you, do you, did you deal with like, um, imposter syndrome at all? Like, did you have like those lack of confidence issues or that's not really like a problem with you? Like when you're applying for jobs and, and stuff like this. What do you mean? Like my self-esteem? Yeah. Cause like a lot of people look at job descriptions and like, Oh, there's, I don't meet. Oh yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> true, true. True. Let me let you know, you know, <laughs> You know, there's a lot of things you said in the videos that you made, but you might not remember that. There was one that you said, um, there's one that you said, you know, you're going to see the job description. They're going to show you tons of things and truly, truly, they're going to show you, they're going to list it out. They're going to show you four years experience, this certification, CNNA, PUMPTIA, all of that listed from the top. And when you see it, you're going to run. That's <laughs> the first test. You're going to run. That's the first test when you see that. Because when you look at it, you're like, oh my gosh, I can't handle all this. I don't even know this. I only know this. I only know that. Yeah. But the the true fact about it is that you're not really going to, they're not going to ask you for that. <laughs> yeah. They're, just, they're not going to ask you at all. They're just going to like, they're just going to ask you a couple of few things. Then from their interview, they've already gotten all the knowledge they wanted from you. So by the time they ask you a few things that you don't respond the way you want to, they will know whether you're qualified or not. So, if you see, you know, all the description you got to have this year's experience, just try it. Just apply for it. You never know what's going to happen. You know, but don't be, don't be bummed out by that. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent agree with this. Um, someone emailed me the other day and they're like, I'm having a hard time finding a job. And I'm like, well, what jobs are you applying to? And they're like, oh, I didn't apply to any yet because like, I didn't meet the requirements. I'm like, the standards oh. are required. <laughs> No, you have to, you have to spam them. <laughs> yeah. You have to apply to like hundreds in a day and go rest. <laughs> yeah. Cause sometimes I'd wake up in the morning. I wake up in the morning and I'd apply from like nine o'clock to like two o'clock and I'd be like, I'm done. Mm. So anytime I'm online, all you see me pressing is apply, 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 apply. And I get tired. I'm like, man, I don't know. Yeah. It works. Like as long as you have a good resume and then you have like a portfolio and you're ready to like interview it it definitely yeah. it definitely work oh yeah the um the format for the resume that you made that I, I used it oh really that's the same build that one page that one page format <laughs> you know that one page resume oh yeah and then before that you know the funny thing is that i got two jobs on the same day oh damn really yeah for real the, the, um the one that i work at, at gillette at um seaport they contacted me the same time another company contacted me, but that job was pretty decent. It was like, um, it was, um, device input, you know, like, you know, um, heart defibrillator. Oh, wow. Okay. Like yeah, medical things. stuff. Yeah, exactly. So what they want you to do is when it comes in, you check it inspection. Yeah. Device inspection. You check it top to bottom, put all the information and make sure it's not out of date, make sure it has the right voltage and all that. But when I went there and I walked inside there, I said, no, because if you see the people that the way they're working, they were working, like they wanted to die. Like it was over for them. 
Because gotcha. it was packed. It was packed in there. No space. They're tired. The boss gives you overtime. You don't have a choice. You got to come in there. Even if it's 12 o'clock p.m. in the morning, and I'm like, nah, I can't. So I just, and it was too far from where I was staying. Oh. I couldn't get it. <laughs> yeah. So I, I couldn't get there. Gotcha. Yeah, it's good you went with yeah. your, your other one. Yeah, exactly. So, oh, yeah. Then lastly, I just wanted to like, like if not for my mom, I swear I wouldn't, I wouldn't have this to be honest. Really? She, she won. Yeah, honestly, you know, sometimes you might go through hard times, but she's still the best. I still give her all the credit. Oh, that's nice. I'm, I'm glad she support you. That's really nice, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hear this from like a, a couple other people, um, like their mom or like their girlfriend or wife or something um, doesn't want them to do it because they want them to do like those traditional thing or something. Um, yeah. Like, not, I guess school's like, okay, um, but I feel like the... the in, this, yeah. in this current age, you don't need, like, you don't really need that. Like, they already made a way. Right now, to be honest, they, they, um, they value certificates, certificates more than degrees to be honest you know a lot of jobs you apply for you, you see do you have pump CIA? you have C C C N A, like all those things you know and those are sensitive they ask for things like that they don't always like ask for bachelor's degree and all that but it's still important all that yeah did you get yeah. did you get any certifications yet or just like uh course careers and it, it was already course career oh damn okay but i was i wanted to go for google support but i heard that when i checked the reviews i saw that it was like People are like, this is a joke. That it's not, it's not, it's not valued anywhere. Like nobody actually said you have Google certificate or something. Yeah. So it, I could talk about this a lot too, but um, it it teaches you like a, a good theory. You just have to like use the theory properly. Like for example, like course careers. Like course careers is, is kind of the same. Like there's probably no employer like oh yet anyway. Like oh, do you have course careers? Like I don't think anyone really says this, but like. Um, the stuff that you learn in course careers, like your like resume and like all those interviewing stuff, that kind of like helps you to be able to like, you know, apply well. Yeah, it's true, it's true. And stuff. So the Google like theory is pretty, the theory in there is pretty good. Um, it's just that I don't, in my opinion, they didn't teach you how to like execute on like the job. How to execute, yeah, how to edit, execute it. A lot of, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, you did a good job executing and good job finding a like kind of shadow mentor. I think that's like really important. Yeah, and then there was a part that I was laughing at. It was a time you were saying you were working in um one of those um stores as a team lead, mm. and you said that you made a sandwich for the lady and that she lied that there was no cheese. <laughs> that there was no cheese on the burger or something. What is this? And you just made her. You just made her another sandwich and gave it back to her. Oh, right. Because it saves time, right? And research. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Somebody asked, they asked me that type of question, but really? they asked me that question. They were like, tell me what you have done to solve a problem before. So I just brought up anything, anything really simple. It doesn't have to be IT related, like you said. Yeah. No. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and you can just make yeah. up. I'm not really an ethical person, so I sometimes yeah. if I can't think of anything, I'll just make a just story. make up something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they don't even know. It, you know, <laughs> they don't even know. Yeah. So, I mean that that you know, that shows that at least you can think of something quick enough, right? I mean that's a fair exactly. fair enough answer. Fast thinker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. So, Cool. So yeah, do you have any, um, this doesn't have to be related to the course or anything, but do you have any like kind of final advice for someone who maybe wants to start a career in IT like you did uh, in minimal time, like any advice for these kind of people? Um, yeah, so I would advise if you're working and you want to branch off into IT, um, your Saturdays, the work your Saturdays to you. Make sure you could finish like maybe like each part at a time, each video at a time, you know, as for me, when I was doing it, I was in, I had nothing going on. Like, I just finished school and I wasn't doing anything. So I devoted like all my time to that, you know, but I would advise that you, if you, if you don't want to hustle for the money, because let me tell you something, there's a difference between, um, how everybody gets their money. Like right now I could sit down and make my money from just typing. But 
somebody's going to get paid the same thing I'm doing by using his whole physical strength. Like, for example, somebody working at Amazon, carrying boxes. Mm. You're carrying boxes and somebody's over your neck and reading over you and telling you, hey, have you carried that last box over there? Mm. But meanwhile, another person is sitting down and still getting his money, which li like literally not lifting a muscle, you know, but just using brain power. So if you don't want to be in that position, that's what's going to get you that desire to move on and try to, you know, move out from those hard situations. But I know nobody wants to suffer. Everybody wants to elevate and go up in life. So I advise that when you get to the course, you mustn't do IT, but you could do sales or something that interests you because at the end of the day, it's what you like that's going to make you finish it faster. So, yeah. Cool. Very um, well said. Thanks so much for that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was great chatting with you. Really, really appreciate it a lot um, and hope to see you in Discord and maybe get like an update at some point in the future. Yeah.